Andy Hertzfeld, one of the original engineers at Apple in the early 1980s, described working with Steve Jobs like being in a reality distortion field. And so I said, Bud, how can this schedule? You know, I said, this schedule is ridiculous. And Bud goes, I know. <laughs> he said, well, how can you know and have the schedule not have anything to do with reality? And he, and he had to explain to me, well, it's Steve. And he told me that Steve had a reality distortion field. He explains, the reality distortion field was a confounding melange of a charismatic rhetorical style, an indomitable will, and an eagerness to bend any fact to fit the purpose at hand. Amazingly, the reality distortion field seemed to be effective even when you were acutely aware of it, although the effects would fade after Steve departed. We would often discuss potential techniques for grounding it, but after a while, most of us gave up accepting it as a force of nature. In other words, Steve Jobs created a mental projection of indomitable will and visualized a field around him where everything harmonizes according to his expectations. However, this is only one part of it. In order for the reality distortion field to work, Steve was zealous about maintaining the field, meaning that if anyone didn't resonate within the base frequency he was projecting, in this case, make the impossible happen, he would eject the conflicting frequency by any and all means necessary. This is why some people considered Steve a genius genius, but kind of an asshole. Asshole or not, the results speak for themselves. But how does one go about creating your own reality distortion field like Jobs? Well, today is your lucky day because I'm going to explain exactly how he did it and at the end of the explanation, we're going to create our own reality distortion field utilizing visualization, mindfulness and of course, charging it all up with the breath. Clearing the cache. First, you will need to enter into a meditative state, which can be achieved by utilizing the vortex breath, meaning inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, and then inhaling through the mouth, and then exhaling through the nose. You'll repeat this breathing pattern for three to five minutes while simply purging your conscious mind of all lingering thought forms. Once you've reached a state of gnosis, it's time to start harnessing life force energy utilizing the breath. Inex spatial awareness. Once we've reached a state of stillness, it's imperative to become aware of our internal and external environment. We do this with closed eyes and a body scan, which then extends into an environmental scan. This allows our conscious awareness to completely fill the room or area we are in, which will help us visualize and extend the reality distortion field more effectively. Harnessing Life Force Energy to harness life force energy, you will engage in slow, mindful breathing by doing the yogic complete breath, which starts by inflating the diaphragm, then the mid and finally upper chest in one smooth movement. Once the lungs are completely inflated, you'll hold it for five seconds, visualizing a ball of white energy form in your solar plexus. As you inhale, feel how the energy accumulates in this region and tap into the thought or emotion or reality you wish to project. Through visualization, and intention, we imbue the energy with our desired effect, increasing the resonance of the emotional field we're creating. Once more, three to five minutes of this is more than enough, creating your reality distortion field. Once you've charged your solar plexus, we'll use the Tesla breath to create our reality distortion field. The Tesla breath starts with a quick, sharp three second inhalation, followed by a six second breath hold while visualizing the energy in the solar plexus and then exhaling for nine seconds while lifting the abdomen, pushing out the energy and visualizing this ball of energy expand beyond your body and around your person. Extend the field to fill the entire space around you. And as you do this, focus in on the feelings it produces in your body, sitting dead center in this reality distortion field. We'll do this for 10 repetitions, and on the final breath, we'll completely empty our lungs, slowly inhale a full complete yogic breath, hold it for 10 seconds while visualizing the field crystallize around us, and then exhale into a 33 second breath hold, simply being mindful and feeling the effects of our reality distortion field. At the end of the breath hold, we'll simply do a recovery breath and release. Now that we know the theory, how about we put all of this into practice? So go ahead and pause this video if you need to set up your space, find a quiet area where you won't be disturbed, and let's create our very own reality distortion field. Ready? Let's start in three, two, one. Good luck, Paul Minot. I'll see you on the other side. Let's begin by synchronizing our breath and inhaling through the nose and then out through the mouth. 
now in through the mouth. And out through the nose. Very good. Again. In through the nose. And out through the mouth. And now in through the mouth. And exhale through the nose. Excellent. Keep on breathing like this. And with every breath cycle, simply purge all invasive thoughts. Focus in on the breath as it moves through the body. Feel the difference with the alterations of the breath. In through the nose, expanding the belly, the chest, all the way to the top. And out through the mouth, gently releasing the breath. In through the mouth, expanding the diaphragm, the chest, all the way to the top. And gently release through the nose. Good. Keep on breathing like this. Clearing the cache. Emptying your mind of all thought and feeling. You are here now. In this moment. Out. Feeling the subtle energies of the body, perhaps feeling your forehead tingle a bit as the third eye becomes more active. Good. You are here. Now, in this moment, breathing in and out. Yes, just like that, continue breathing, feeling. Letting go. Relaxing. Being. Here. Now. Let go of the breath completely and simply take a moment to become mindful of this feeling you've created with the breath. This deep, relaxed, calm, yet highly focused state of creativity and potential. Let's take a moment to anchor ourselves in this moment, in time and space, by simply becoming aware of our body. In the next few moments, I'm going to mention different body parts. With your eyes closed and without moving, simply direct your awareness to each body part. Left hand. Right shoulder. Left shoulder. Right foot. Left foot. Right ear. Left ear navel, chest, throat, forehead, the top of your head, the whole right leg, the whole left arm, 
the whole right arm, the whole left leg, the torso, your entire back, your entire head, your entire body. Good. Now take a moment and begin to feel the air around your body. Feel the space, the emptiness around you. Extend your awareness and begin to sense the objects in your area. The floor, the walls or ceiling if you're indoors, or the empty sky if you're outside. Become aware of the resonance of all the objects in your immediate space. Chairs, desks, your devices, everything. Simply let your conscious awareness drift and expand completely into your immediate surroundings. Feel the body, feel the space. Become acutely aware. Very good. And now that we're anchored into the eternal present, let's begin to harness the life force energy into the solar plexus. Do a complete yogic breath in through the nose, expanding the belly, the chest, all the way to the top, and hold it for five seconds, while noticing a warm feeling in the solar plexus, a few inches above the belly button. Again, in through the nose, and hold. And as you exhale, watch this area radiate with white solar energy. Again, in through the nose, expanding the belly, the chest, all the way to the top, and hold. Just visualizing this energy accumulate on the solar plexus, exhaling, feeling it grow more vibrant, charging you up. Good. Keep on breathing like this. And as you visualize this golden white energy, focus in on the intention or the emotion you'd like to project. Observe how it merges with this powerful energy, altering the frequency accordingly and accumulating right in the solar plexus. Charging it like a battery, becoming stronger and stronger. Yes, just like that. Keep on imbuing this life force energy with your intention, with the breath. Each and every cycle. Excellent, we're doing great. Again, in through the nose, and hold. Exhaling, in through the nose, expanding the belly, the chest, all the way to the top, and hold. Excellent, you're doing great. Let's take a final deep inhalation, harnessing as much life force energy from the environment and sending it to the solar plexus, charging it with our intention. And now, just let the breath go completely. Simply feel the warm, 
buzzing sensation in the solar plexus merging with your intention, ready to become your reality distortion field. Go ahead and take a quick powerful inhalation fully expanding the lungs. Hold it for 6 seconds feeling the vibrant energy in your solar plexus and exhale while lifting the lower abdomen upwards, expanding the ball of energy outwards and making it larger and larger. Good. Again, inhale quickly, fully expanding the lungs and hold. Feel this ball of energy, now larger than before, and exhale, lifting the lower abdomen while expanding the field even more. Excellent. Keep on doing this eight more times with absolute conviction. Expanding the field with every breath cycle. Inhale quickly, fully expanding the lungs, and hold. Feel this ball of energy, now larger than before, and exhale, lifting the lower abdomen while expanding the field even more. Larger and larger. Now, let's empty our lungs completely. Slowly inhale, expanding the belly, the chest all the way to the top, and hold, feeling the intense nature of your reality distortion field as you sit right in the center of it. Good. Now exhale about 70 to 80% of the air in your lungs and simply experience your reality distortion field in full effect. Crystallize around you, warping reality around your being. Let's do a recovery breath in three, two, one. Into the nose and into the belly, the chest, all the way to the top, and hold. Squeeze that perineum and lock this reality distortion field into place, anchoring it into your being. And release. Release the breath completely. At this point, you have successfully created a reality distortion field, and wherever you go, as long as you remain zealous about maintaining this field, you'll be warping reality around you at all times. If someone or something comes into the field that doesn't resonate with your projections, simply take a few breaths and recharge the field until it becomes greater than that which opposes it. Sometimes, you may have to remove yourself from the obstruction or excuse yourself from the conversation if the dissonance continues. And that's it. 
you now know how to create a reality distortion field just like Steve Jobs and can imbue it with any intention from increased luck and good fortune to wealth, love, influence, charisma and anything that you want. If you're still here at the end of the video, I just want to say thank you and feel free to share this video with anyone you think might find it interesting. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do that now and click the bell icon if you want to be notified about my next videos. And if you're interested in exploring more of my work, why not check out the video on your screen right now.